Hey guys, I'm Roxy Jones and I'm here for Well and Good's Trainer of the Month Club. We're gonna be doing kettlebells just for your core. We're gonna be doing a total of five exercises, 12 reps of everything. Today I'm gonna be using a 10 pound weight. If you'd like to go a little heavier, you're welcome to go to 12 or 15 pounds. Or if you wanna go on the lighter end of the spectrum, you can use a five pound as well. And don't forget, a heavier weight doesn't make a better workout. It's form that makes a better workout. Okay, so let's get started. First exercise, we're gonna move to a Russian twist, all right? You just need one kettlebell. And I'm gonna start in my V-sit position. So if you are a beginner, I recommend keeping your heels on the ground just lightly. And if you are more advanced, then you can go ahead and lift your feet up off the ground in almost a tabletop position, okay? So one rep is gonna be touching it side to side, so that's one. And you can lightly touch it. You don't have to completely slam it down to the ground. Just really think about pulling your navel in towards your spine so that you're not letting your lower back round out, okay? My chest is up the whole time. And you can also change your line of sight to follow the direction of the weight if that helps you too, okay? So once again, if you have to bring your heels down to the ground, if that makes your workout and your form better, then go ahead and take that option. Three more reps, 11, and last one, 12. Okay, so second exercise, we're gonna do a typewriter drag. And it's starting in a plank position, so I'm just gonna get my kettlebells out of the way here. Put one in front. So if you're somebody that struggles with holding a plank, let's make sure that's proper. All right, so placing my kettlebell on the outside of one hand, I'm gonna start with my shoulder blades stacked right above my wrists, and my core is nice and tight. Notice how my hips are not up, and my back is like completely flat, squeezing my booty together, okay? So one rep is moving the kettlebell from side to side, and I'm placing it back there where it started. So that's one, okay? Two, and then three. Now if you feel like your hips are starting to open up, you can also just reset, bring your knees down, and then begin wherever you left off. I'm already shaking because this is hard. <laughs> Now, if this is a lot for you to actually lift it up, you can think about dragging it from side to side. And try not to let it go too far, because then it'll be difficult for you to reach and grab it. Two more reps. And last one. There you go. Third exercise, we're gonna be doing weighted sit-ups. So I'm just gonna replace my weight. Moving it back down to our tailbone, we're gonna start by laying it down on the ground. And I'm gonna hold my kettlebell slightly away from my chest. You can glue it to your chest if you'd like. I'm just gonna start with having some space between my kettlebell and my chest, all right? So you're gonna be sitting straight up. So now make, make sure when you're beginning that you're pressing your lower back into the ground, closing out that gap so that you're really engaging your core to the fullest, okay? If I have that space in between, it means that I'm not actually bracing my core. You wanna think about tightening up that space between your ribs and your hips. When you sit up, you can also exhale using your breath to exert more force. And try to really sit fully all the way up because we're not here to do crunches, we're doing sit-ups. So you gotta completely come all the way up. And last one, that makes 12. All right, fourth exercise, we're gonna be doing a figure eight pass. So like I said, you can also keep your heels on the ground if you're a beginner at this. Otherwise, if you wanna try lifting your legs up, it's gonna be more challenging for your lower abdominals, okay? So let's start with the beginner's uh, position. So I'm gonna be passing the weight underneath my leg and then underneath the opposite. So I'm basically weaving it through to a figure eight, lifting my leg, not so high, but just enough so that I can pass the kettlebell under. So moving to the advanced position, I'm passing it through my legs, 
holding on to the curved part of the kettlebell. And that makes 11 and then 12. Awesome. All right, so now we're at our last exercise. We're gonna be doing weighted leg raises. And this one is challenging, don't let it fool you. But I'm gonna need two kettlebells for this. If you'd like to go lighter, I'd recommend trying five pounds instead of tens. So I'm gonna stay in my racked position, laying it down on the ground. Legs up, my lower back is pressed into the ground, so I'm bracing my core. Then I'm gonna start by elevating my hands all the way up. Now, whenever you're ready, you can start to lower your legs down and it can be slightly above the ground. Or whenever you feel like your lower back is starting to leave the ground, that's when you know that your legs need to stop at that point. Try not to rush through this either. Honestly, the more time you take, the more muscles you're contracting. So it's not always bad to go slow. Really try to keep your arms extended out the whole time. And continue to press your lower back into the ground, holding on your kettlebells. Two more. And finally, last one, thank God, because this burns. And then bring your legs back down to the ground and then your kettlebells back down to the ground for safety. And that's it. <laughs> And there you have it, that's our core kettlebell workout. I love adding this to the end of any total body workout or maybe after a long run. And if you're feeling really spicy, you can add in two more sets to make it more challenging. I'm Roxy and I'm here for Well and Goods Trainer of the Month Club. If you wanna watch more videos, subscribe to their YouTube channel right now.